no, you need your milk. Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of My Big Fat Journey, where we got a little bit to cover this week, some good news and some bad news. Let's go ahead and get the bad news out of the way, shall we? Last week, we weighed in, <laughs> yeah, there we go, um, last week we weighed in and we had 339.4 pounds on the scale. This week, we had 338.6 on the scale, giving us a, not even a pound drop, only eight, eight tenths. Hurt a little bit, but it wasn't unforeseeable. So what happened? Did I drop out of ketosis? No. What ended up happening? Did I not exercise enough? No, that wasn't the problem either. The problem is, quite simply, quite plainly, that the night eating was too high. And it was very much a test to see if eating a certain amount at night at certain times would prove one of my theories. And guess what? It did. <laughs> it really did. Uh, so next week, we should be doing a little bit better. Uh, we should. Fingers crossed. So, what ended up happening? I do not have many carbs at night, okay? I don't add to that carb count. And everyone who does keto mostly says you don't have to calorie count. I say that's bullshit, and I just proved that this last week, okay? You do need calorie count when you are on this. Okay, you do. Because any calorie you are putting into your body is energy. Okay? So just think about this logist like just logically. Okay, not logistically. We're not shipping stuff. But if you go ahead and you put 200 calories of something into your body, you got to do 200 calories of work to burn that off. It doesn't matter what form it comes in. You got to burn it off. Some things are going to come off a little bit easier than others. Like right now with keto, the fat-based calories are going to come off a little bit easier than the carb ones, but it's still energy. You still gotta burn it. So, you do have to calorie count while on keto. And it's kind of dependent up to you what you can handle and how fast you wanna lose weight. And I'm going to try this is a key word here. Try to try and cut out night snacking after tonight. Tonight, it was just a bad day. I had to work on a day that I was supposed to be off. It happens, okay? I'm not upset about it, but I didn't get a, a day to relax and unwind like I normally do. So mentally, I'm just kind of not, not here at the moment because I'm just so out of my normal routine that I'm always in week after week after week, so I'm just thrown off. Does that mean tomorrow's gonna be any better? No, tomorrow's probably gonna be worse. Tuesday will be worse than that, Wednesday's gonna be hell. But at least Thursday, you still never finish your milk. But at least Thursday, I should finally be a little bit better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I was weak tonight, but we should be better next week, okay? So, what is the good news then? Okay, we had some bad news. We had a lot of bad news. Let's get to some good news. I ended up contacting SlimFast. They've been a huge part of this diet, okay? And they're not supposed to be, really. They don't have to be with the keto diet. You can go ahead and you can go about your day and you can try and do your carb counting through your meals. Or... You can incorporate SlimFast into your diets. Like I have two meal replacement shakes. I do it per day unless I'm staying home, in which I'll do two home-cooked meals instead of just the one. So what I have, and I wish I would have brought one here. Uh, I'll put one on screen. Um, is basically the Advanced Energy Caramel Lattes is what I have. They're very, very tasty. I have two of them a day. I've had two a day for the past two years. I think about two years. Oh, SlimFast is taking a lot of my money. <laughs> but it works. There's only one card per bottle, and it just really works into the keto diet. So and then I take my MCT oil supplements in the morning, so that way I don't have to spend the extra couple of dollars on the keto line. 
of what they have. Because it's essentially, it's essentially the same thing. It just has MCT oil in it, and that's about the only difference. But why did I reach out to SlimFast? Why would I do that? Why is this a thing? Why would I... Yeah. Well, I wanted to reach out to them because... I mean, they've helped me quite a bit with a pretty solid product. I'm not going to lie. You see all these success stories on their website, and just to be quite honest, none of their success stories that I saw have equivalated to what I've done. It's just being honest. The majority of their success stories are like maybe maxing at around like 90 pounds maybe sometimes a little bit of 100 and here we are sitting at a flat 136 pounds right now i mean we're a pretty pretty big success story right now and the journey isn't over yet still got another oh my god i'm so out of it i can't math 88.6 pounds yeah, I think it's 88.6 pounds, which absolutely is not bad. But I wanted to give them the opportunity if they wanted to use me as as a success story or to take me on as a sponsor, that they would still have that opportunity to do it because I've proven I've de- I'm dedicated to this. If anything was to happen, I would tell you guys. But right now, um, tonight, no, not tonight, probably tomorrow because I keep on procrastinating. I'm filling it out. I'm going to fill out their... Um, whole thing and i'll submit the photos that i've taken from the beginning of the journey to now and um i think they said that they were going to consider me for future things but we'll see i got to give them the evidence of hey look at this there is a transformation here before they would even consider doing anything but we'll see if something happens with that I, i wish i could work alongside them because they're a great company and i wish that more people would have would know that they can incorporate them to make keto so much easier. It really is. When you're downing a bottle and you're like, this is good nutrients, and I only have to have one carb out of it, that leaves me to still have plenty of carbs for the rest of my day. I want to go ahead and cover one more thing, okay? One more little detail. I want to do the keto series. And... I'm still undecided as of right now because I'm just not mentally here right now. So I don't know if I will do the keto series this week. I wanted to. The whole plan was that I was going to start working on it tonight and that I was going to carry on and try and do it um, for like the next three days or four days or however long it took to make it. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to postpone it until next week until I'm in a more until I'm in a better headspace to do this because I want to do it and I want to do it right I want to have the scripts really really well done and I want to have the information really really easy to understand keto is an amazing thing for losing body fat but it is complex by so many websites it keto is not this complex it's really really simple with what I've learned and all the different things that I know that can help other people. I want to get that information out, but I gotta be in the right headspace. Otherwise, I'm gonna start skipping over things and glazing over things that need a little bit more attention. I want to do it and I wanna do it right. I don't wanna risk making a video and then people have more questions. I want all your questions to be answered in one simple video if I could, but there's a lot of information to cover. I wanna do what meals, um, what meal ideas are there. How do I get started into it? And number three, why? I think that's the biggest one. That's episode one. It's just why. Why is keto a thing? I hear about it all the time. Why is it good? How is it good? Why does it work? I want to get those questions answered. But it's going to take... It's going to take me being in a better headspace to really analyze my past in all these videos to truly get to that point of where I can really accurately describe things. And even, I don't know if I seem out of it or not. Hopefully I'm not too out of it, but just mentally, I am just exhausted. I could seriously go to bed right now and just pass out. And that's just been me for the past two days. But that is what it is. You gotta grind through life, right? <laughs> so that is going to do it for this episode though, everybody. 
Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Even though I only had a 0.8 pound loss, I know it's not where we want to be, but we'll get there. We will get there in the end, and that is the important thing. So thank you for riding along on this journey. I'll see you guys back here next week.